Our next question was, um, if, God forbid, a member of your family was violently assaulted, wouldn't you be glad of a DNA database to help catch the perpetrators? Uh, if you've done nothing wrong, you have nothing to hide, and I would gladly have my DNA stored in the knowledge that such a database can help the police get violent criminals off the streets and help bring justice to victims. It's only helpful if the DNA of that particular person is on the database. I'm assuming that the person who's asked that question has never committed a violent crime and you know, is yeah. entirely innocent. Having his DNA on the database is of no use whatsoever yeah. if someone's committed a violent crime. And it costs money to keep someone's DNA samples there and to keep the database there. Yeah. That's a complete waste of resources. Personally, I would like the money to be put where it's most useful for fighting crime. Now, clearly, I think this is, there does need to be a DNA database of people who have committed violent or well, committed crimes, um, those who have been um, arrested um, for violent and sexual crimes for a particular period of time if there's good reason to do that. Yeah. But actually just keeping lots of DNA samples on the database isn't, isn't the way to solve crimes. We should be much better off putting the money into uh, frontline policing, into better technology, into helping people actually detect the crimes um, and into f stopping it from happening in the first place. So holding innocent people's DNA doesn't achieve th the result and just diverts resources. So I think if people are arrested and then sub subsequently cleared, their DNA should be taken off uh, a database? Yes, I do. If, you, if you're cleared of a crime, then you're not guilty of that crime and you shouldn't be treated the same way as, as somebody who's been convicted. We have a really basic tenement in, tenet in British uh, justice system, which is that you're innocent until proven guilty. And the DNA database changes that so that we're basically saying, well, you might be innocent this time, but we think you're going to commit a crime in future, so we're going to keep it just in case, which is a completely, just turns it on its head. Now, if we, if we believe in the, the British justice system, which has served us well for centuries, then we should be sticking to the basic principles. And it doesn't help and it costs money holding the DNA of innocent people on the database.